Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Byzantium, Purple Phoenix, Europa Universalis 4. Russia, I'm not happy about this. Get the hell off my province. Who declared this war? Russia is attacking Poland over Tsar... Go focus on that province, this one's mine. Maybe if I put my army there, he'll just leave. No Russia. Why are you being such a prick? There they go. Are they leaving? No. That's some other regiment. Who is the... The legitimacy? We're 65. Our heir has a strong claim. Come on, dude! Um, what if I say attach this unit, and then I tell you guys to leave? Totally, totally just, just leave. Let's leave this province. Come on, come with me. Come with me. You are such a jerk. I'm not going to help your battle. I hope you get stack wiped. Little two stack. Looks like Austria hid from us. The navy's already back over here again. Missionaries are at 50% on Rome. That's a base 12 province. Being converted in like three years. That is sick. I'm so angry about this stupid Russian. This stupid Russian. Get out of there. Now, I think what I should probably be doing is taking small amounts of infantry. Like, select army, new unit, and then take like... I don't know. Three units of infantry, send them to Armenia. New unit. Um... Three units of infantry and send them down here, and have them start the siege progress, because on the off chance that they get lucky and they breach the walls, I mean, that's just a, a lucky dice roll. Same thing here, now we take the three stack and we send it forward to another province. Then what can happen is that the army just steps in and they can just annihilate, just siege it in seconds. See, look at that, there we go, perfect example, breached walls. So now when we march in there, we can take that province in no time at all. Because we'll start off with the 7% base that he gets against level 2 forts, plus another 21%. And whatever siege progress they've already ticked it up to. You know. Hey, he's leaving Amirti. I am going to grab half the infantry. And go sit on its mine. Since it looks like we're going to get what we want, I'm going to tick the checkbox. Wow, we're getting really unlucky here. 73% conversion? Good manpower? I don't think there's really anything going on anywhere. Are you looting all my provinces? No, he's just walking right through. He could be. He should be, but he's not. He's not looting all my interior lands. Alright, come on. 56% chance. Thank you. Now, do we want to go on Amerti? No, I think we, we have to take this one. No, we don't. It's already at 21% on its own. This guy's just three infantry. They've just been kicking butt. Of course, I've been doing it for a while. Oh, hey! Whoa! 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 What's up there? Um, okay, we'll leave... I can't, I can't leave all the infantry behind. Yeah, we barely have any siege progress here. We can wait two days and hope maybe we get lucky. One day, two day. Hey, we got lucky. Sweet. <laughs> uh, Force march. He'll be there on the twelfth. I think we can actually make it there in time to defend this army. Nope. Never mind. There goes some infantry. That sucks. Soul daddy infantry. Soul daddy. That's what they're called. Called the soul daddy. All right, um, he is trying to come into this province. We actually have a really bad mixture of units here. And they've got a 5-2. I mean, it is mountain. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it'll be a really narrow thing, but... I think we're going to end up with ca um, cannons on the front line. Okay, we just killed that navy. I should probably break off this siege. 
Yeah, that province doesn't matter. Alright, so yeah, they did take the mountains penalty and the crossing penalty. And their 5-2 is fighting my 6-2. So we have a 3-point bonus. So it's a 5-2 versus a 9-5. But notice how we have cannons on the front row because our infantry is not wide enough. That's not good. They'll take double damage and they'll get massacred by these cavalry. And they're getting hit by infantry. We might still pull out of it, but we're going to take a lot of losses having cavalry in the or uh, infantry in the front. Oh crap, my leader just died. Well, fortunately we can reinforce here. He's about to get there anyway. No, he's actually pretty far away. Um, we'll try to reinforce, but man, losing that guy... Ugh. We still did okay, but it could have gone terribly. Yeah, I think that's probably enough sieging for the moment. No, we should take their capital. Georgia. That's seven reg regiments of infantry from Georgia. I just need to train up some more guys and reinforce down here. Oh, I see. Austria has finished running. Well, no. That's definitely the direction we're going then. Now, if we do a regular march, we'll be there on the 15th. They have no morale right now. If we forced march, we can get there... Ah, damn. On the 1st. What if we... Consolidate regiments. Can we actually get our morale up? No. Well, shoot. I was hoping we could stack wipe. It'll basically be a zero day fight. I'm still going to try it. I think we'll have an advantage, but. Oh, yep, we did. We did stack wipe just like that. No fight at all. No losses. We just obliterated Austria's army. They just lost who knows how many regiments. Five prestige, gained war exhaustion like crazy. That is why, my friends, Forced March is so ludicrously powerful. It's why you have to take offensive over defensive or anything else. It's just, I mean, if you didn't have it and you didn't have the ability to do that, then they would guarantee have morale. It's like... Forced March basically says, okay, I know that there's this whole shattered retreat, uh, shattered retreat mechanic in the game, but I don't care about that. I just want to kill everything. And it's pretty awesome. Okay, 90% conversion on Rome, so we're about to finish our mission. Very excited to restore the Pentarchy. I have not yet decided if we're going to completely just finish it. I'm going to see what our other events like type missions are. But we're in 7th place. Um... We're in third for military. What's this plus 25%? That's an interesting thing. I don't remember seeing plus 25% on there before. What does that mean? So we get plus 25%. Minus 5%. Percent. I don't know. I don't know what those numbers are. Is it get, is it because we're ahead of time on technology? Maybe because we're getting bonus points on everything but administrative. We're getting a minus five percent. It's probably related to the being ahead of time, be my guess. A fairly safe guess, most likely. So this is Bohemia or uh, Georgia's capital. We're still only at two percent because Russia sucks and they can't even siege down the war goal. And they keep on just oh just leave. Let's just leave this province. This is the war goal, but we're not going to siege it. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Slow down. We have converted Rome. Great. The restoration of the Pentarchy has happened. We've gained twenty prestige. Um, we have the Pentarchy, which gives us an extra missionary and more yearly prestige. We're currently at 100, and we gain 0.5 per year. 
So we actually have a... We will tend towards 100. That's just where we go. The base decay rate is offset completely by Byzantine ambitions, religious traditions, the conquest of Jerusalem, Rome, and now the Pentarchy. The wound is healed, another 25 prestige, uh, 25 legitimacy, and it disables the papacy altogether. Sorry guys, sorry Catholics, no more Catholic minigame. You don't get the bonuses uh, to reduce technology costs from having cardinals, you can't call crusades, you can't do anything. I've ruined it for you. Okay. So from here we've got accumulate money, that's a cool thing. Claim our rival's province, protect against Poland, so nothing special. We still haven't reestablished the theme system, or TEM. I'm not, I still don't know how to pronounce that. The Noble Knights idea. Holy crap! Institute Liberum Veto. Unlocked the Noble Knights idea. Well, I need to figure out what this is. Byzantium has unlocked the Noble Knight's idea. Noble Officers, there it is. Okay, so the first level of Aristocratic. So if we, if we did go with Aristocratic, Military tech cost goes down, an extra leader without upkeep, I mean, it's pretty decent, but that decision there, you have to have a lot of war exhaustion, but you apparently get a ton of troops for free, tons of military power, you lose all your war exhaustion, It's that's pretty sick. Our nobility have come to us with an interesting proposal, if we were to grant them the liberum veto, veto, they would in return give us substantial support during the current war. Although their offer is very generous indeed, some of our advisors are suggesting that we could just be the thin edge of the wedge. This could just be. In fact, although they will get angry if we refuse them, they will most definitely prey on any future weakness we show to demand for the concessions. Well, whatever. Sounds awesome. Triumph for Anatolia. Triumph for Italy. Confirm Thessalo... Thal... Thalassocracy. Uh. So really the only other one that's like specific to Byzantium I think is this one. Own Ismet. We, didn't we just fabricate a claim on Ismet? Against the Ottomans. Own Kutaya. Own Konya. So that's these three so far. Own Hamid. Amayasura. Sivas, Sinop. Looks like it's about to here. So that's probably two or three more wars. And then we could press that button. And when we do that, everything gets renamed back to the proper names. Six base tax in Constantinople. National manpower modifier plus 25% till the end of the game. Well, I feel like we have to do that. I mean, that's just... We have to. So in that case, we should fabricate claims on all of these things. All right, Georgia, come on. Uh, apparently we've gained 20 Patriarch Authority as well for taking Rome. March 31st, what if we enable Forced March? March 31st, March 31st, let's try it, see if we can catch him. Nice, dead. Turn off Forced March. Do I need to help you siege this damn province? Like, seriously? If I go siege their war goal, I wonder if that'll make them mad. Technically, they would occupy it, but they wouldn't be able to take it. They'd probably be pretty upset about it. I'm just going to protect trade again. I don't think we need to blockade. Oh no! We're going to lose 10 prestige. How, how sad. We'll gain one per year. <laughs> we're just going to go right back up to full. George is probably really hurting. Seven war exhaustion. Poland's up to six. Eventually they'll take the war goal. I mean, they can't be complete dummies forever. We lost the higher level guy, which means we'll actually make some money now. We have 
missions. Protect against Spain. We have 48 regiments. We have 47 right now. That seems like a pretty good mission. And at this point, do we really need to worry about conversion? Maybe we should actually try to make some more money. Maybe we just bring down Patriarch Authority. I, every time I analyze Patriarch Authority, I feel like I, I tend towards having 100%. You're, you're giving up money for things that money can't buy. Manpower, revolt risk, missionary strength. Would I really trade three positive modifiers for just more money? No. I think it's too good. I think I just want to stay at 100. Would you please siege the war goal? <laughs> you are so bad at this game, Russia. The war goal is that one. Siege it. It's a pretty easy mission. Claim Maro Maros. Mara. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, totally. I want to fabricate a claim on that. Yep, of course. Apparently we're at war, so can't do that. Alright, local defensiveness or lose army tradition. Don Donji Kraji. For five years gets less defensiveness. Alright. Let it fall. I don't really care. They are about to take back the capital, so I think we will march over there and kill them. Don't take it! Dead. Stack wipe. God, I love that. It's so good. It's so good. That's right, though. We did lose our leader. So this is the backup guy. He's only got two siege value. Pretty crap. Pretty crap. Decent, but no siege value. Okay, so you're clearly fired. I think the 3-6 is all right. Oh, they're all pretty crap. My standards are really high now. <laughs> after having those two guys. No, you're all crap. I oh, will keep that guy in. Let's see. 4, 3, 4, 1. Crap. Oh, there we go. A 4, 5, 4, 1. That's 9 pips. That's even better than this guy. Oh, and you have 9 pips too. Wow. But you have no siege value, and your maneuver sucks, so you're fired. That's pretty sick. Alright, we're going to put somebody in charge and have him go help Siege. He won't have any artillery, but he'll be pretty awesome. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.